then we have concept of correlation matrix okay so what is the correlation matrix okay in a correlation matrix we try to represent the correlation between the two variables suppose let's say you have two three variables that are there a b and c okay now these are the three variables we are trying to represent the correlation that is there between a b c so see this point okay this cell if you see here we are representing the correlation between a and a note that the correlation between a with itself should be 1 why because we have seen the correlation it is written as correlation between x and y it is written as covariance of x and y divided by the standard deviation of x standard deviation of y right so here what we know is the covariance of x and y when it is x and x it will be written as covariance of x and x divided by standard deviation of x standard deviation of x now what is covariance of x with itself it will be your variance of x then you have this multiplication is also variance of x okay this gets cancelled and as a result you get the correlation equal to 1 right so it means that here you are representing so this diagonal element this all diagonal elements will come as 1 okay now if you see that this value this value is the correlation between a and b it is written as row a and b here if you see this is a correlation between b and a correlation between b and a is same as your correlation between a and b so that means this value and this value will be same similarly here this value should be same and this two value should be same because this is between c and b and this is between b and c right so the values are same now if you see here even if i don't get all this value and i don't get this value okay i will have all the information available with me because these values are not required only then this part is required by b right so that is your correlation matrix next we see the covariance matrix in covariance matrix what we do is we represent the covariance between the random variables right now unlike your correlation matrix you will not see that these diagonal elements are one okay but these diagonal elements are so if you see here you have the covariance of a this element has covariance of a with itself so covariance of a with a that which is nothing but the variance of a so here you have the variance of a variance of b variance of c you have plotted the variances of a b and c now here if you see it will the it will be the covariance of a and b so a and b covariance and this will be same so covariance between b and a will be same as the covariance between a and b so it means that this three cells will be redundant we don't need it but we need the this cells now what we can give you is we can give you an example like this i say that this is a this is b this is a this is b and i say that the this value is let's say suppose 100 this value is suppose 400 this value is suppose 150 okay right so it means that 150 is the covariance between a and b covariance between a and a is 100 which means that variance is 100 so what is the standard deviation of a standard deviation of a is 10 so they can ask you to compute the standard deviation of a they can ask you to compute the standard deviation of b which is 20 okay or they can give ask you to give the covariance between a and b which is 150 or they can ask you to compute the correlation between a and b what will the correlation between a and b correlation between a and b will be covariance of a and b divided by standard deviation of a standard deviation of b so a covariance matrix would be given and you will be asked to compute the correlation so what you have is this will be 150 divided by standard deviation 10 and 20 so your correlation will be 0.75 so that means your covariance matrix can be used to create the correlation matrix right so this is one type of question that you can expect so this completes your reading number 2